Uh, David, you mentioned the January transfer window. Let's keep that topic and think about the two teams that for now are top of the table. Mm -hmm. Arsenal and Liverpool very much looking forward to their match tomorrow, 1230 on NBC. Let's look past their match and look at that January transfer window. Do you see either side making any big moves there? I think the supporters, Paul, of both sides would like them to kick on now they're in such a strong position in domestic and European competition. But if we start with the host tomorrow, Liverpool, they did a lot of work in the summer transfer window to really rebuild their midfield. Alexis McAllister, Dominic Soberslai, um, Endo came in as well, and also Ryan Gravenberch off the back of Cody Gakpo a year ago. And so I think that was all they wanted to do, and that makes me think January is going to be relatively quiet. You never say never with Liverpool because they're always alert to the market but I don't think there will be anything spectacular they've got to focus on the summer because of course John Matip will be out of contract Jarrell Kwanzaa has really come on at centre half so perhaps that solves that position and then they'll be a year away from uh, the end of the contracts of Mo Salah Trent Alexander-Arnold and Virgil van Dijk so these are big moments for Liverpool and their sporting director who is still in position for now even though it was a short-term appointment uh, Jörg Schmatka let's see what happens on that front but I think Fenway Sports Group are doing a, a good job of trying to rebuild Liverpool into this new era and um, they'll hope to keep that going. As for Arsenal, well, they're top of the league at the moment. They'll hope to maintain that position uh, going into the new year. Uh, I do think it will be quite quiet there because they have financial fair play issues. They're quite close to the line as shown by having to do the David Raya deal on loan. When they have money, they're going to need to turn that permanent. Where's that money going to come from? Internal resources or sales? Let's see. A candidate to be sold, of course, is Aaron Ramsdale because he's not playing and he wants to be. Uh, that's a complicated deal. It's a high risk one for Arsenal as well because they're an injury or Away from da for David Raya from needing Aaron Ramsdale. Watch this space. Emil Smith Rowe, will he go? Not in January. Let's see if that happens maybe in the summer. In the summer, I think they'll be signing a striker. Not likely in January as things stand. Ivan Tony, there's been no movement on that. And there are other candidates. Of course, they'll be looking at the likes of Victor Osserman and, and Benjamin Sesko, Evan Ferguson too. Looking into midfield, it will depend on what happens with Thomas Partey and Jorginho. They do like Martin Zubamendi at Real Sociedad. But again, it has to uh, rely on some outgoings before incomings come in. The same in defence. Could they go for a short-term lo loan? Maybe on that front. Let's watch this space. Again, Edu, technical director, doing a really good job. And the ownership, the Cronky family, KSE, will be very happy with how things are at Arsenal right now. Huge clash tomorrow. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.